Sooner Scoop HD. Travel was really good. It was short. Um, us leaving Florida and then coming here, had to go back home, wash some clothes, and uh, get back and get ready to go. Uh, Mark. Uh, hi, Mark uh, Berman of the Roanoke Times. Congratulations on uh, making it here. Uh, Tanner, uh, you guys are on the road team, but you just came from Florida winning that region on the road. How much does that maybe give you guys confidence heading into the road this week? Uh, you know, this is, this is a lot, it gives us a lot of confidence. Um, you know, Gainesville was a very hostile environment, um, you know, in the SEC and stuff, and that's something that uh, over the year we've, we've been accustomed to. So um, we're going to be walking into kind of the same environment here, and uh, we're looking forward to the opportunity. Skip, I was curious. Uh, Tech put up some big scores uh, in their region last weekend, but you, you, your last game was, you know, kind of, I think it was a 5-4 to four score on, on Monday night. Uh, you know, what do you kind of expect maybe score-wise uh, expecting uh, this weekend? I don't know, really. I mean, I, I couldn't tell you what the score was going to be or how good we'll be or how good they'll be. Just get the opportunity to play against the baseball. Uh, is the biggest thing that we look forward to is just, you know, trying to go out and play good baseball and continue to get better day in and day out and each week. I mean, that's been our goal every week is to get better uh, uh, each week. Uh, and if we win, we win. If we lose, we learn by, from our losing. And we can learn from our winning as well. And that's what we've kind of been our mantra is just play against the baseball and, and take it one pitch at a time. Skip uh, Tim Thomas from the Tech Lunch Bill. John Sheff mentioned that you guys have kind of a long-standing relationship from your time at Navarro and his time at Louisiana Lafayette and him recruiting players when you were coaching on the junior college ring. Can you give us a little insight into the relationship and, that you guys have? Yeah, I mean, he was uh, one of the uh, top recruiters. He'd show up and, and come to our games, and uh, um, we always had some good players. And, and so that was really the rela where the relationship started. I mean, the guy, he worked extremely hard at what his craft was. He was recruit coordinator at uh, uh, Louisiana Lafayette, then he was at Kansas and Kansas State. So I'm familiar with him and what he's done. And uh, he's a really good coach, a fundamental coach, and it, looking for the opportunity to compete against his team. And then what's your plan in terms of the kind of the pitching rotation for the weekend? Well, we'd start out with Jake Bennett. And we wanted to make sure that uh, he threw today, see how he felt, and go from there. And then uh, uh, we'll see what happens from that point on. It's been usually in the weekend. It's been Jake Bennett, uh, um, David Sandlin, and Kate Horton. So uh, uh, we'll look forward to seeing what that plays itself out as we get, you know, closer to the game and play a game and, and see what happens. And you guys are one of the top base running teams. And this is for both of you guys. You're one of the top base running teams in the country. Three guys with 22 or more steals so far this season. What makes you guys so effective? on the pace pass and not just aggressive on Just, our, I mean, that's what we do. I mean, that's a part of our offense, and uh, uh, and we're just we're going to be aggressive, and that's the biggest thing that we do, more more so than anything, and opportunities within the, what the game tells you to do. And so uh, um, that's what we try to do. We don't have a certain uh, magic trick or magic dust that we throw on top of players, and all of a sudden they start running faster, throwing harder, and hitting balls farther. It's just about baseball and understanding what the game's going to give you and and you've got to go out and try to take the game and try to be aggressive in the game. And you want to go down being aggressive. You don't want to go down being timid. Uh, Skip, uh, what's kind of your concern or not pitching-wise as you get ready to face one of the better offensive teams in the country? What am I concerned about? I mean, are you, are you worried about your pitching as you get ready to place, face no, such a good offense? No. Or do you feel like your pitching's in good shape? And I mean, you, the only thing you can control is throwing the ball to the mitt. You can't control if they get a hit or not. You, you just want to keep attacking the mitt. So that's the biggest thing you want to do is just throw it to the mitt. And whatever happens, happens. And, and really, that's basically the only thing you can control is just throwing the ball to the mitt. If we get concerned about it and worried about uh, what's going to happen in the game, then you struggle. You just got to try to go out and make pitches and do be the best you can at being a pitch maker. And, and uh, uh, our, hopefully our defense plays well and we play fundamental baseball. Uh, Tanner, I think you guys have won seven of your last eight games, you know, dating back to the start of the Big 12 tournament. Uh, what do you like about how this team is, your team is playing at, at, during this stretch? What, why has this team been so good of late? Um, I, I think we're just motivated, you know. Um, 
the biggest thing for us is is the people who doubt us and things like that. And we've we've talked about that all years. You know, when when we're doubted, you know, we want to make a statement. You know, that's and that's been our motto all year. And uh, you know, we're we're trying to make a statement uh, at the Big 12. We're trying to make a statement regional, and we're going to try to make a statement here. So um, we're just going to hope to keep that momentum going forward. Uh, since uh, uh, Peyton and, and uh, Bennett aren't, aren't here, let me ask you, Tanner, first with uh, Peyton, from being around the guy every day, what makes Peyton Graham so good? Well, he's just, he's just an explosive player. Um, you know, he works really hard, um, and he's, he's, he's really focused when we're out there playing, and he's, he can make anything happen at any point. And uh, he just does a good job for all of us, and, and he brings, you know, a lot of energy for us. So he does a good job. And then from seeing Jake uh, in practice all the time, and playing behind him, what makes him such a good pitcher? He is extremely level-headed. You know, he doesn't get too, too up or too down. Um, he, he is really good about attacking and just forgetting about any kind of mistake he makes and just moving on from that. And I think that's what separates him from most of the pitchers in the, in the country. Uh, Skip, just curious, uh, obviously first time in Super Regionals in, in a while for the program. Uh, at what point, this, was there a certain point maybe last fall or, or uh, during the season where you were like, oh, th this team is pretty good. I think I got something special on my hands here. Well, I mean, the biggest thing is that what, what, what's really been special is how they care for each other. And then whatever leads into that, the culture leads into uh, winning and taking care of yourself because that's really, really at the end of the day, you really want to see those kids believe in each, each other. I mean, if you looked at, listened to any of our press conferences before, and uh, um, I think last week Kendall talked about, you know, Tanner being a senior and in and, and the last game we had an advanced meeting before our last game and, and he talked about, you know, I didn't want Treadaway to go out that way. And so that was more caring about each other. And then when they start caring about each other, then the game will come simple to them and they'll, they'll try really hard. And you can't the, – the biggest thing is what you want those kids to do is to give you effort. I mean, that's all they can control is their effort level. And they've been given effort each each weekend. And uh, um, I think we've been on the road four or five weeks in a row. So uh, uh, it's been really fun doing that with these kids and, and uh, um, really uh, growing fond to how they go approach the game and how they approach each other. It's really, it's really fun to be around. It's fun to coach. I mean, we talk about winning championships, but my, my job is to carve my name on their heart. And then you can go carve it on marble. I mean, that's what we really care about. We really care about how that kid gets better day in and day out. Don't get me wrong, we want to win. There's no doubt about that. But if you can really care about the kid more and show him how much you care, that's what it's really about. Uh, Coach, we've got two questions on Zoom. Uh, the first one being, I'm sure quality starting pitching has played a part, but what has been the catalyst for your bullpen finding success, specifically over the last month? Guys like Carson Atwood, Carter Campbell, Ben Abram, leading to Trevin Michael on the back end. Obviously, walks have been limited, but how big of a role has trust between yourself and Jimmy Crooks played in this? Well, I mean, Jimmy's a, a leader, and that's one good thing about him. I think the biggest thing difference for us is because our offense has played so well at times, and it's helped. Anytime you have a lead, your breaking ball, your fastball command gets better. Those things get better. So I, 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 contrib I contribute that our pitching to our offense as much as anything. Our offense has been really explosive at times and it gives us a lead so we can go out there and not try to be pitch perfect. We just throw the ball to target. And another one, um, how do you approach a weekend like this with Cade Horton? Obviously a Sunday game isn't guaranteed, so is there any temptation to attempt to work him in earlier if a situation where it makes sense presents itself? It just depends on what the game shows you and tells you what to do. Um, he's throwing the back end for us. He's started for us. So, in, you know, whatever we can do to try to win the baseball game, we're going to do it. I mean, last week we brought in our uh, Friday night starter to close the game. And it's really a bullpen day for him on a short day's re on a short week's rest. So, um, you know, he threw 28 pitches, and uh, uh, his bullpen's usually 40. So you double in a game. What you try to do is you try to double in a game. If he threw 28, it's like throwing 50. So it's, you know, 10 extra pitches in the bullpen, where that may be. He felt good today, which is a good sign. Any more questions for Coach? Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Sooner Scoop HD.